Let us talk about Homo heidelbergensis. Homo heidelbergensis lived approximately 5 lakhs of years ago. You can see here Homo heidelbergensis is often referred to as archaic Homo sapiens because it combines future of Homo erectus with more modern futures. Many researchers consider Homo heidelbergensis a possible ancestor for both modern humans that is Homo sapiens and Neanderthals that is Homo neanderthalensis while others are still not comfortable with this label. And now we are going to talk about Homo sapiens. The species name Homo sapiens means man who thinks. An appropriate title for a species that formulated the spoken language and developed more sophisticated tools. You can see Homo sapiens and their sophisticated tools over here. The most Im important ancient find was discovered in Hungary in the year of 1965 dating from about 4 lakhs and 5000 to 4 lakhs of years ago. You can see Hungary in 1965. There are two types of Homo sapiens are there. The first one is the Neanderthals or Homo Neanderthalis. The second one is modern human or homo sapiens let us talk about neanderthals the neanderthals they are located in europe neanderthals first appeared about 2 lakhs and 30000 years of ago and disappeared approximately 30000 years of ago Quarry workers in Dusseldorf first discovered the remains of these people in the Neander Valley of German in 1856. And more finds have since been located primarily in Belgium, France and other parts of Europe. You can see Neanderthals over here. And now we are going to talk even more about Neanderthals. Neanderthals traveled as far as China and, and the East Middle East. A Neanderthals total population at any one time probably numbered fewer than one lakh. The Neanderthals are still the scientists wonder whether they were our direct ancestors or whether they were a separate species. Now we are going to talk about the modern human. The modern human about 40,000 years of ago, the modern humans moved into Europe armed with the skill to make clothing and better shelter and more efficient here. In 19th century, the scientist named these newcomers Cro-Magnon people. You can see here, after the French rock shelters where three anatomically modern skeletons were discovered in 1868. The Cro-Magnons were Homo sapiens who evolved in Africa and slowly pushed their way into Europe. The Cro-Magnon people were about as tall as modern Northwestern Europeans. They also had many of same facial and cranial features as modern Northwestern Europeans. Eventually, their successors moved into Asia about 30,000 years of ago. They crossed the 
be ring straight after the treat of the ice and enter the americas and others reach to australia with this migration our modern human ancestors spread throughout the world now we are going to see about the migration of homo sapiens you can see the map this map of early human migration when modern humans reached the near east 125000 years of ago the evidence suggests they retreated back to africa as their settlements were replaced by neanderthals it is now believed that the first modern humans to spread east across asia left africa about 75000 years of ago across the babel mandip connecting ethiopia and yemen thank you for watching from gtech